This is the 2022 Pajero Sport. This one is the Aspire model, but this video is not about the Aspire. This video will be about how to use the vehicle, the four wheel drive system, the infotainment system, as well as just the general usage. So you have a keyless entry system. This button will allow you to lock and unlock your vehicle. I won't be pressing it now because the key is in the vehicle. You have a push stop start button over here, which I will be pressing twice and not putting my foot on the brake pedal because I don't want to start the vehicle. I only want to press the ignition. So orange just indicates that it's registering, but press it twice for the ignition to switch on. The infotainment system, quite easy to use. Press OK and it'll take you straight to the radio. From there, you can supply your source. So just in a moment, I will be explaining your Bluetooth audio. The sound off. Okay, uh, USB, USB video. There's an HDMI port down below as well. For when your kids want to watch something through the iPad or tablet and just press it in and they can watch it on the screen. Then, next I will go to your air conditioning system, off button, the temperature you can set, so at the moment it's not synced, so it is a dual climate control system, which they can operate at different temperatures, and your fan speed, you increase and decrease your front windshield to de-vape that or your different types of modes <clears throat> so as you can see that is how that would work the rear aircon you can switch on as well and the rear will engage you can sync the two so that they put out the same temperature the rear demister as well as the reconciling air. Okay, back at the infotainment system, we will be looking at it a bit more in depth. So from your home screen, you would go to multimedia every time. The source you will, like I just explained, you can get it there. But first let's go to settings. Settings, we're gonna go to Bluetooth and there's no Bluetooth device added. So you're going to press OK to pair a phone, which is a bit difficult for me right now because I'm recording this with my phone. So I won't be doing that right away. Sound control, volume, AF, display, all the settings that you would need, you can find here. And you can reset them all as well. Then let's just quickly go back to radio. There is a station list where all the stations that is in close proximity you will pick up and you can just easily maneuver through them okay then once you are connected which i'm not able to do now but which once your phone is connected um, to the bluetooth system you can go ahead and press source and bluetooth audio once again it's not connected now but this vehicle does come with a apple carplay slash android auto system which means for you that if you connect your phone via cable usb slot there and into your phone if you have a latest not the latest but a pretty decent iphone or android <coughs> phone it'll immediately pop up that you want to use your android auto just below or just below bluetooth as well as apple carplay so that's basically, in a nutshell, your infotainment system. Let's just put it on FM. So there we go. Your gear lever, quite easily to maneuver. At the back, you will find there is a button. So to go from park to reverse, you're going to need to press it, which I'm not able to do now because the vehicle is not on. But easy, reverse, neutral, drive, and then the drive, you will be able to push it to the left 
for Triptronic or you have pedal shifters which is actually very very comfortable to use and it's column mounted not steering wheel mounted so even though the steering wheel drive it'll stay stationary for you to easily know and remember where they are whereas if they were on the steering wheel it'll be okay where are they now so that makes it a lot better you have an electronic parking brake so pull it up to engage push it down to disengage you have an auto hold function which means that when you get to a red light you are able to stop the vehicle press down the the brake pedal and leave it then your auto hold will keep your vehicle stationary so that you don't roll forward or backwards and you can just pull away when the light turns green you have a descent control and an ascent control which is the same button for steep downhills or uphills which means that you will be able <laughs> to just go ahead and leave your brake pedal when you're going downhill either reversing or going head first and the vehicle will automatically engage engine braking so that you don't wear out your brakes your four-wheel drive system you have your two high your four high which is just four by four normal high gear then you have your four high uh center diff lock all these three you can engage up until 100 kilometers per hour while driving and the center diff locks engagements would be preferably on looser terrain which has, which doesn't have as much friction as a tow road but the four wheel the normal 4h four wheel drive you can drive on any surface whether it's tow road it doesn't matter you will not damage your 4x4 system your full low lock will only be able to engage whilst your vehicle is in neutral you can put it into full low lock you will hear it engage and it'll also show on the cluster that it is engaging and that is only 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 on loose surfaces for example sand or you're going through axle twisters or stuff like that so from two high to four high you just switch between and four high lock as well but to get to four low lock you have to actually you won't be able to see it so clearly but you have to press it down and then you can go to four low lock and back again so that is just the four wheel drive system more or less explained on the dashboard you will have you can press enter and you can go to your dashboard inf information what's going on on the vehicle what's going on on the infotainment system any warnings that they may have you can see there for now there's no fuel in this vehicle and then your settings tab so everything on here you can also um, set to your preference and the sounds there you go the operation sounds the language the units how to reset it and factory reset everything so there we go is the infotainment system is done the cluster you can also just press on the right and it'll change where the first one was your speed and then your ref counter the second one would be your ref counter your speed displayed in the middle and this would be your fuel consumption which is quite nice then obviously your temperatures on the left hand side and your petrol on the right hand side um your wipers quite easy to use that's for the rear um you just press it up or down on the right hand side i would recommend just always leave your vehicle in auto lights that means your lights will automatically turn on and off depending on how bright or how dark it is outside that's also your turn signal and then lastly you'll see you have mist lights which is up is on down is off and you'll see it pops up there as well so let me just check out something now oh, on and off 
There we go. Cruise control. Press the button. To set it while driving, you push down and leave it. And then you can take your foot off the accelerator. And if by some way you disengage that by pressing down the brake or just cancelling it, that's fine. To go back to the initial speed that you set it on, you can just press it upwards and it will automatically go up to the speed that you initially set it by. Down here, easy to explain. Unlock your vehicle, lock your vehicle. This is your window lock, so nobody can open a window. And then that's pretty self-explanatory. Down here, let me just try and get there. Your traction control system, you can turn it off. When you go into four wheel drive with your center diff lock activated, this will automatically turn off. I would recommend always keep this on for safety purposes. And this is also your park sensors in the rear to sh tell you that you're driving very close to objects and hopefully you don't crash into things. Going back to the infotainment system, you can switch uh, through station and station or through track and track. This is just to, keep to source, which source you would like. And on this side, you can speak to the vehicle. So press it once. Please speak after the beep. And then you have to say one of those things, telephone display off or help, and she will hopefully understand what you're saying. Hold it in to deactivate it. That is to pick up your phone when it is ringing through the Bluetooth system and also putting it off. Okay, that is pretty much the front interior. Very, very well put out. From here, just to show you how the seats work. So the driver's seat will be electronically adjustable. So that's for up and down, forward and backwards. And that's your lumbar support. So the middle point there would stretch out or it'll go back. If you look at this vicinity, just more or less. It won't be perfectly visible on the video, but you will see a slight differ as it goes up and down. The passenger seat is just the normal lever at the bottom there that you slide forwards and backwards. Going to the rear of the vehicle, very easily. Back here, there is a handle. You grab it and it'll go down. And it can also pop up. Then these seats as well. Look at that seat is now just at the fold down position. So, very easy. Let me quickly show you. Oh, I won't be able to show you. Never mind. So, there's a lever at the back on both seats, the, uh, the uh, rear seats. There's two levers on each seat. The one folds down the actual chair, and the other one folds down the seating position or folds down and up doesn't matter um, you also have your parcel tray so you can stir things on top or it's just to cover what you're storaging down below you also have in the center cup holders which is quite accessible and very very neat to use and this we can just put up again I want to be able to do it now any case down below you have your normal two socket power or you have if i can open it just your two usb ports there's one and there's two okay once again this is the aspire model everything on the interior will be exactly the same uh, whether it's aspire exceed okay exceed may be a little bit different but aspire or just your normal will be exactly the same so that's it in a nutshell i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you or i hope i explained it decently enough for you to understand and if you do have questions you can just call me at de villiers motors in worcester